You're watching Forget Being Cool. But I'm pretty sure that we just experienced like a scuba diver's experience as he lost oxygen while scuba diving and then his journey to death. Hi, Keith. Hi, Dave. Hi, hi. we've got Game Pass. Did you know that? I do. I saw Game Pass on sale this weekend. Did you pick up any extra? No, no, I didn't. I, yeah. I just pay monthly. It's just easier. I don't. Yeah, I think it was. I think I saw a code for. I think it was seventy bucks for a whole year. Yeah, every Which time is normally like one twenty. Every time Xbox Live goes on sale for forty dollars, every time it does, I grab it. I grab another. I grab another year, and I go great. I'm set till 2022 on Xbox right. Live, um, but I I don't I don't want to renew Game Pass because I just feel like if it ever were to just completely suck, which I mean it exceeded 200 games this month. Um, if it were to ever completely suck, I would I would throw it away. But anyway, Keith, we played a game. We did. We probably beat a game. I did. I did. <laughs> I don't know what I was supposed to get out of it. We played Abzu. Yeah, I, I liked, I liked, you know, it was, it was an interesting experience and it was, it was pretty and whatnot. It, it was a nice kind of chill, relaxed game. I'm really not sure what we were supposed to get out of it. I, I I've, yeah, it, it may, was, it may have been the most beautiful game I've ever played by far. Like it was nice looking. I won't go that far. Oh, but it's so colorful. It's gorgeous. It's artistic. But, it's art style or art direction was very good. It's and and it will technical level was not as high as other games I've played. Okay, and it will stand the test of time because of its art style. Sure, but I'm pretty sure that we just experienced like a scuba diver's experience as he lost oxygen while scuba diving and then his journey to death. Like I'm pretty sure that's what we played, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the I I tried to look up a little bit last night just to see what people, you know, talked about, but I I don't I mean, I, obviously they were looking at like the ancient civilization or whatever, but I didn't get what we were supposed to be getting from it. Like, you know, like the, you know, you play through and it's it's nice and it's a s very similar puzzles over and over again, you know. There's there's no real tension generally speaking. There's Every once in a while, a shark jumps out and, you know, eats one of your little, you know, camera buddies or whatever. But you're not, like, actively being attacked. You know, you have those little triangle things that eventually at some point, you know, you get a little too close to, they can zap you. But you don't die. You just, you know, you're on fire for, uh, like, a couple seconds. And then the water puts it out or whatever you want to call it. And you move on and you're right. You eventually get to the point where you've gone to the fishy church of of God or whatever again. And now you can like blow them all up and yeah. you're like, I, I don't get it. It's, it's pretty, it's neat. It's only two hours. So yeah. in, in my op opinion, like if you have game pass, this is a game you should just, you know, on a chill evening, just, you know, put it in, play it. Um, but I wouldn't say this game sells game pass. I wouldn't say, no. I would ever pay for this game under any circumstance other than it being on Game Pass. Yeah, I went to go look at how much it would be since it was on Game Pass, and I think it was ten bucks. I it's, guess it's normally twenty or something. Yeah, but see, even pushing at ten bucks, I feel like this game may not even be worth that experience because I'm not really sure what it's about. The controls, the camera controls, I fought against numerous times. Yeah, the yeah, and the regular controls, I ended up starting doing like backflips and stuff for no reason. I'm like, all right, I said go this way. I didn't say do 16 backflips. I mean, it's pretty. It's neat. It's cool to do that, but I didn't want to. Uh, I don't need to control fishy people. I'm really not sure why we had to, like, hold on to fish at all. Um, other than, like, the few, the other, very other, few other times. Than the, yeah, other than the very, very end of the game, I don't know why we would why we needed to at all either. Um, I mean, I at the beginning, they you know, obviously they showed you it. Like, hey, you can do this. But other than the very end scene, I don't see why it was needed to be done at all. I, I almost wonder if it was this game was meant to be more than it was, and they kind of just wrapped it up and said, "Here you go. Here's your two-hour weird fishy god experience." 
Going to the weird <laughs> fish church through the shiny portals. Yeah, I don't. I didn't. You know, it was it was okay. It was uh, interesting to do, but yeah, I did not. I was I not. Get, like, I, some, I didn't get like some profound experience out of it. You know, it was all right. It was it was something to do for two hours. It wasn't too bad. I, I numerous times I kept kind of going, okay, this is clearly the end. This is the end. This is the end. And it's like, oh no, no, we got a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm. So, I don't feel any more enlightened than I did previous. Anyway, guys, if you have Game Pass, go give it a try. But you know, it's not something you need to rush to. No. Uh, Abzu's there. It's available. I'm Dave Moore. That's Keith Dahl. This has been We Have Game Pass. <laughs> short game, short episode. Right. I mean, I was like, if this <laughs> show goes over five minutes, <laughs> oh, we're, we're already exceeding the length of this game. <laughs> For more great discussions, hit that subscribe button or visit forgetbeingcool.com.